welcome to our channel. Today's video is all about anaerobic respiration. There are some situations where cells can respire without using oxygen. This is called anaerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration, glucose is not completely broken down, so less energy is released. The advantage of anaerobic respiration is that it can occur in situations where oxygen is in short supply. Two important examples of this are in yeast cells and muscle cells. Yeast are single-celled fungi. They are used in processes such as baking bread. When yeast cells are prevented from getting enough oxygen, they stop respiring aerobically and start to respire anaerobically instead. The glucose is partly broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Think about the properties of ethanol. It makes a good fuel and will burn to produce a lot of heat, so it still has a lot of chemical energy stored in it. Muscle cells can also respire anaerobically when they are short of oxygen. If muscles are overworked, the blood cannot reach them fast enough to deliver enough oxygen for aerobic respiration. This happens when a person does a burst of activity such as a sprint or quickly lifting a heavy weight. This time the glucose is broken down into substance called lactate. Anaerobic respiration provides enough energy to keep the overworked muscles going for a short period. During the exercise, the level of lactate rises in the muscle cells and bloodstream. After the exercise, the lactate is respired aerobically in the mitochondria. The volume of oxygen needed to completely oxidize the lactate that builds up in the body during anaerobic respiration is called the oxygen depth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of the future videos.